guys, and welcome into week number six of Bible Basics. Today we're going to be looking at how God is preparing a place of rest for you and for me. Because you know, after a long day of training, a soldier looks forward to hitting the bricks and resting. Through Jesus, God made a way for our sins to be forgiven. When we put our faith in Jesus, Jesus puts us right with God again. That means that those who put their faith in Jesus have their sins forgiven and will be able to rest with God in heaven forever. Also, don't forget about our mystery letters to figure out our mystery word at the end. You're not going to want to miss it. It's going to be so much fun, but before we do all that, let's sing our song. of salvation on your head you got the breastplate of righteousness as a vest you got the shield of faith that will help you fight the arrows put on the full armor of God and you will win the war Sword of the Spirit, it's the Word of God. The belt of truth around your waist will help you a lot. You got the shoes that will help you tell the gospel. Put on the full armor of God, and you will win the war. Hi, this is Miss Jen with today's Bible verse. By using scripture, the servant of God can be completely prepared to do every good thing. 2 Timothy 3.17 Let's say it all together this time. By using scripture, the servant of God can be completely prepared to do every good thing. 2 Timothy 3.17 is there anything better than a cozy blanket? I mean, especially 
on a cold winter's night when you curl up and you get in your bed and you just fall asleep with your cozy blanket. Mm. Oh, sorry, got off track. But anyway, Jesus is preparing a place of rest for you and for me. He's preparing a place called heaven where we will be freed from worry, from anxiety, from the worries of this world. In heaven, we will find rest in eternity in God's presence. It's going to be beautiful, and God wants you and me to be there. Jesus died to forgive us of our sins. If you believe in him, you can live in heaven forever. All you have to do is accept his invite. Jesus is waiting to hear from you. He can't wait to make a place of rest for you. Let's think about that as we continue on this lesson. Two, one. Shh, be very quiet. Private Jones is sleeping. She's earned it too. I've been drilling her pretty hard the last seven weeks. She's had to march, she's had to run, She's been through the obstacle course several times. She's done a couple thousand push-ups, sit-ups, and jumping jacks. And she's peeled a bunch of potatoes, too. Mm, potatoes. No more potatoes. We train our soldiers pretty hard, but at night we let them rest. They usually have no trouble nodding off, as you can see. Look at her, sleeping like a little baby. You know what she reminds me of? Heaven. God is preparing a place of rest for all of us in heaven. There will be no sadness, no sickness, and no worries up there. No more running. That's right, Jonesy. No more running. We'll be with Jesus, and we'll live with him forever. All because he loves us. If you're a believer, thank God for his goodness and his love. If you're not, I hope you'll give your heart to Jesus today. He's got a place of rest prepared for you. And trust me, it's way more cozy than these little cots here. You can go there one day. You can live forever with Jesus. All you have to do is accept the invite. Shh. Hey kids, welcome back. Mr. Chip here from New Creation Community Church. And we're still talking Bible basics this week. Now, I want to ask you this. If you've done something, like maybe you got done with your game or you got done with your, with your homework, wasn't it really nice to just be able to go take a few minutes and rest? Well, it's the same way with soldiers. They're out doing their patrols. Sometimes they have to go do some running or push-ups or, or maybe they have to do some martial arts skills. But when they get done, they get to rest. Well, we're going to be exploring in our scriptures today when we get to the end and we get to rest with Jesus. So, I'm not going to spoil it. So, let's get into John chapter 14, verses 1 through 6. And then I'm going to go to 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9. Don't let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and trust also in me. There is more than enough room in my Father's home. If this were not so... I would have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you. When everything is ready, I will come and get you, so that you will always be with me where I am. And you know the way to where I am going. No, we don't know, Lord, Thomas said. We have no idea where you are going. So how can we know the way? Jesus told him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. Now we're going to jump ahead. The Lord isn't really being slow about his promise, 
as some people think. No, he is being patient for your sake. He does not want anyone to be destroyed, but wants everyone to repent. Well, you know, let's think about that. Where Jesus said he was going to prepare a room in his Father's house for everyone. Well, that's everyone, you, me, who believes in Jesus and that he died for our sins. And that when we're done here on earth, we're going to get to go to heaven and be with him. But one thing to watch out for, even though you believe in Jesus and you have salvation, well, just like soldiers, we still have to do our job here on earth. We have to be good. We have to help others. There is a lot for us to do. And we want to help others get to heaven with us. So sometimes that sharing about Jesus and what he's done in your life. There's still lots to do. Lots of work for us. And I, I like doing God's work. Sometimes it's mission trips. Sometimes it's being the commissioner for our flag football league. Sometimes it's just helping out at vacation Bible school. What kind of things do you like doing to help people find out about Jesus? Well, think about that and do the things that you are best at to help Jesus. And just remember, when we get to the end, we get to share time with Jesus in heaven. Back to you, Mr. Sean. Thank you, Mr. Chip. We appreciate you reading that Bible story for us today. Where did Jesus tell his disciples that he was going? He's going to heaven. What was he going to do there to prepare a place for you and for me? Why is God making a place in heaven for us? Because he's expecting you to be there. He wants you to be there. How can we get to heaven? We need to ask Jesus into our heart and believe that he died for us and believe that he is our savior and ask him to come into our heart. Why hasn't God returned already? Because it's not his time yet. When is Jesus coming back? I don't know and neither do you. The only person who knows when Jesus is coming back is God the Father. So be ready to accept his invite today. Be ready to meet Jesus today. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day. Thank you so much for who you are. Heavenly Father, we ask that every single one of those watching today will come to know you as our personal Lord and Savior today before it's too late. We thank you for everything you do for us. We thank you for loving us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, let's sing our last song. Because Jesus is preparing a place of rest for you and for me. I hope that you will come into relationship with Jesus Christ today if you haven't already. 
It is so exciting to be a part of Jesus' family, and I hope you join us if you haven't already. If you want to become a follower of Jesus Christ, put a comment in the link below so that we may get in touch with you and help you in that process. Or call our office. The number's on the screen. Thank you for watching. Thank you for learning along with us today. Remember, you are important, you matter, and you are loved so much by God. Have a great week, and God bless.